Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. On October 16th through 18th, thousands of developers from all over the world are coming together for DevFest 2020, the largest virtual weekend of community-led learning on Google technologies hosted by Google developer groups. DevFest will kick off with a global keynote from Google, including a never-before-seen demo, featuring some of your favorite developer advocates showcasing how Android, TensorFlow, Firebase, Cloud, and open source all can come together to create something amazing. You'll be able to complete learning challenges to redeem a DevFest digital badge, listen to talks from developers in your region and tech community, connect and network with developers near you, and much, much more. Sign up for DevFest at goo.goal slash DevFest and join the conversation on social media with hashtag DevFest. As part of the Android 11 launch, the Google Play team announced new features to help you acquire and retain subscribers for your Android app. As part of this effort, Google Play will be changing the default settings for a few subscription features as of November 1st, 2020. Check out the post to take a look at these changes and see how to make sure your apps are prepared. Cloud Firestore now has support for not equal queries as well as not in queries. This means you can now use a single query to get all documents in a projects collection where the project status field is not equal to the value completed, or all documents in a projects collection where the status isn't equal to completed or dropped. Head on over to the post for just a bit more detail. We launched Learn on developers.google.com, a new one-stop destination to help you achieve the knowledge and skills needed to develop software across many Google technologies. The site contains Pathways, a new way to learn skills that organizes selected videos, articles, blog posts, and code labs together in one sequential learning experience. Pathways finish with assessments that you can use to earn badges, and these badges become part of your developer profile and can be shared on social media. Check out the post to learn more. We introduced Flutter 1.22. Now with support for iOS 14 and Android 11, new internationalization and localization support, ready for production Google Maps and WebView plugins, a new app size tool, and much, much more. Head on over to the post for an overview of all of the Flutter updates. We announced Dart 2.10 featuring a new unified Dart developer tool supporting a wide range of tasks, such as creating projects, analyzing and formatting code, running tests, and compiling apps. Check out the post for all of the updates, including our safety roadmap and timelines, along with a discussion of the principles from migrating existing code to null safety. Chrome 87 includes lots of DevTools updates, including better support for CSS grid debugging, the ability to emulate authenticators and debug the web authentication API with the new web Authent tab, grouping CSS properties by categories in the computed pane, as well as new Lighthouse audits such as preload fonts, valid source maps, and large JavaScript library. Head on over to the post to see all of the rest of the updates, including the new experimental features. We shared 10 new security and management controls to enable automation and simplify managing security at scale with both G Suite and Google Cloud Platform, including the general availability of both the Cloud Identity Groups API and Service Account API access for Cloud Identity customers, the Count API and new group membership automation. Check out the post for the new betas and all of the rest of our updates. We introduced Menger, a massive large-scale distributed reinforcement learning infrastructure with localized inference that scales up to several thousand actors across multiple processing clusters, reducing the overall training time and the task of chip placement by up to 8.6x compared to a baseline implementation. The post has more on how we implemented Menger using Google TPU accelerators for fast training iterations, covering its performance and scalability on the challenging task of chip placement. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.